Peter Piper picked a peck of peppers and pickles in today's episode of Hot Flash. Welcome to Hot Flash, the hot sauce review series designed to burn your mouth and not your time. I'm RJ, taking a look at ingredients, smell, taste, potato salad, stir fry, wings, and a few final thoughts to help you expand your sauce collection. We're burning precious seconds, let's fire it up with the hot sauce company's peppers and pickles. As simple as it gets. It leads with jalapenos, follows with vinegar for acidity for a more viscous sauce, tomatillos to mesh with the jalapenos for freshness, and then onions and garlic. It ends with the vague spices, which is where I'm assuming the pickles come in in this sauce labeled pickles and spices. Let's see how it smells. Whoa. Well, peppers and pickles is what's printed on this bottle, and peppers and pickles are what you're gonna get. Picking up a little bit of the jalapeno, the main body in this sauce really is the pickle. The sauce as the whole though isn't entirely reflective of the spicy pickle. The vinegar being used as the second ingredient in conjunction with all the different spices create a smell more like a spicy, acidic, pickling liquid that's been turned into a hot sauce. It's, it's really got the saliva glands going, which means that I've got to give this a taste. Let's break this down. A significantly stronger kick than initially anticipated. The vinegar is really the driving force of this sauce, with plenty of heat provided by the jalapenos. The tomatillos round out the sauce quite nicely, but this is made for people who absolutely love pickles. It's absolutely packed full of flavor, but this is going to be an intensely divided opinion. This is either going to be your jam or it's just not. This is a very strong pickle flavor. A great fit because of the herbs being used. The jalapenos and tomatillos always get me excited for potato salad, but what this sauce does differently is having that intense pickle flavor, and boy does it work for this dish. I've always put dill into my potato salads, but replacing dill with this sauce will not only do the trick, but add in a few other flavors to help completely boost your potato salad. The primary kick of all that vinegar from tasting on its own gets dissipated through the salad, and instead you're left with tons of flavor throughout the salad. Let's see how it fares in a stir fry. The highly acidic, spicy pickle flavors are great, but not in a stir fry. I trust you to understand why. This is a sauce with some pretty particular uses that are needed in order to really make it shine. Is one of those uses wings? Unsurprisingly, no. Unless you're looking to get real funky one night after a few brews, I just don't think it fits. So what does this pepper and pickle sauce go with? Used as a complimentary dipping sauce of nearly anything fried is certainly the low-hanging but delicious fruit. Deep fried pickles are the obvious first choice, just make sure you cut them into circles and not spears. Deep fried jalapeno poppers would be unbelievable and it'd make a great base for a homemade tartar sauce for your deep fried fish. Also, add it into relish for hot dogs, sausages, and burgers would amp up your topping game, or skip the relish entirely and just use this sauce. It's also going to really pair well with pastrami, so if you're ever in need of a solid Reuben, this is your guy. As always, you can find the sauce linked down below. Be sure to support local, and I can't wait to check out the next sauce together. I'm RJ, and a like and subscribe goes a long way in supporting the channel. Thank you.